<clears throat> Ooh. Right. Just dropped the kids off at school. This next video is taking you down the beach and showing you how to collect uh, li little ammonites, uh, how to find bellum nights and things like that. Stuff that's, that's kid friendly. Stuff that you can take the kids down the beach. So basically you can go for a walk and showing you what to look out for and showing you some examples of me finding those things on the beach, hopefully. So, let's get down the beach. <laughs> I'll see you on the beach. So we are down the beach and we want to be going all the way ooh, ooh, down there. That's where you want to be going. Down that end of the beach looking for them. You do find the, the little pyrite ammonites and you can find balamites and things like that. Uh, quite a way down this beach. But yeah, about 500 yards down the beach is uh, where I find most of mine. So I'll take you down there now and we'll uh, see what we can find. If I find some bits along the way, I'll, I'll do a little video and show you. So these are the famous cliffs at Charmer. Basically, you've got material up in the cliffs and uh, gets washed down into these slips. Uh, and then when the tide comes in, hits the clay, it'll wash out all the little bits along the beach. Got to admit, you can uh, usually tell everyone that's looking for the pyrite ammonites because they, uh, they look a bit like, it's a bit like the walking dead. Everyone's just walking around, like, head down, looking for stuff. What you're looking for as well is, uh, when you're looking at the sand, you're looking for um, sort of patches of iron pyrite, just fool's gold. So that's the stuff that the ammonites are preserved in. So if you start to find patches of that, then you've got a good chance of finding the ammonites as well. So these are the patches of the pyrite I was telling you about. So if you find patches like this, it's, sort of, it's really distinctive. Then you've got a good chance that there might be some ammonites. I've got there's a tiny sort of see there. Tiny little, uh, tiny little piece of ammonite, so it's a good spot to be checking. Like a patch like this, the pyrite is perfect. And then you've got to stop to get little bits. So there you go, this is what you have to if you see it. This bit is... So these little bits, like this, are... These are Bellanites. There's loads of uh, little bits today. Loads of little bits, but not much. That's another Ammonite, part of an Ammonite. Loads of bits, bits. Got little bits. Oh, that. Woo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Now we're rocking. This little, just like worm tubings, I think. They're not actual ammonites. You see that because they've got no sutures. Yeah. I mean, for kids, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's really cool for kids. Kids love that sort of stuff. Just whack this one. Saw it on the beach. Oh wow. I mean, I knew I said I weren't going to bring me hammer, but I'm, I'm really glad I did. It's a bit weird. It's. You normally find these types of ammonites in uh, nodules, and to find it in that bit of ledge, it's a bit. I don't know. I just walked past Mike earlier on. He'd probably know. He's quite knowledgeable. Um, but yeah, I'll, t I'll bag it and um, yeah, we'll have a look at it in the workshop later. Boop. Again, just uh, glancing over, you've got uh, Bellamite, 
Bell Knight, bit of Bell Knight, Bell Knight, uh, yeah, just, just literally, whoop. like, basically the, uh, the Victorians used to think these were the points of lightning strikes in the beach. So this is actually, that's what a Bellamite looks like. It's like a big sharp tooth or something like that. A lot of, a lot of kids get it mixed up with, you know, why have a tooth? It's a Bellum knight. It's like the, uh, like a cuttlefish bone. It's like the sort of internal structure of a, of a squid. Like you can see uh, just there, a bit poking out the clay. That's a Bellamite snapped off. So when you find these tooth-like things, that's what it is. That's, that's, a, that's a Bellum knight. And that is... Quite a successful trip, got loads of little bits, some beautiful little ammonites. Kids would be, well I knew I would when I was a kid, I'd have been over the moon with finding those tiny beautiful little pyrite ammonites. About 180 million years old which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll just show you quickly what we found. Um, so there you go, some stunning little ammonites. And loads of little bits as well. Look, if you look through there, we've got a tiny little bit. So if you're finding little bits like this on the beach, you know that the, the, there's a chance that you're going to find some whole ones as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Get down the beach, get the kids out, go find some stuff. No need for hammers, just a nice walk along the beach. I've shown you the general area that you're looking for and what you should be looking for. So there's no excuses that you can't go out and find some yourself now. Yeah. Get down that beach.